Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome to the next episode of Creeped Out. Last episode was The Unfortunate Five, which I think at the moment is possibly my favourite episode of this series so far. It's between that one and I think One More Minute as my favourite. In terms of The Unfortunate Five, I just really enjoyed the setting, the Breakfast Club style storyline, where we have all the different people that were initially brought together. I know initially the storyline just seemed a bit odd, like it didn't seem to be going anywhere. But then as we kind of learnt more about the teacher and that she was a monster and that she was basically killing kids and then the, the fact that they all twisted it on its head by giving her to the, to the to the principal, I I really enjoyed it. If you wondered why I've got like a weird bit of hair flicking up right here, it's just not doing what I want it to. I can't be bothered fixing it, so deal with it. <laughs> uh, this episode is called No Filter. I presume it's going to be about something like Snapchat or like a version of that. Or selfies, do you know where people take a picture and they put filters over it so they look basically nothing that like they actually do. And it's actually one of the things that really bugs me about social media. Because I have people on my Facebook who I know won't watch this, so it's fine. Who I work with and or that I've known for years, on and off, or went to school with, whatever. And they put pictures up with about five different filters on. But like not even ones that are just like subtle filters. They're just ones that make them look so fake. I don't, I don't think it looks good. I don't understand why I'd want to put one on that fucking brushes every detail off. So you just look like a painting, but like not a good one. Does that make sense? Maybe I'm just old-fashioned. Maybe I'm just a, not into social media too much. But yeah, so I'm thinking it's about like selfies and photos and putting filters on. Um, how that's going to be like a supernatural story. Maybe it's about losing your identity through the fact that you never put up a picture of your real self. I don't know. Let's jump into a no filter and find out what's going on in Creeped Out. <laughs> Just the way he sat there. Have you ever stopped to think what happens when the images go online? That one looks like a child. So maybe it's time you start it before it's too late. Yeah, I just... Every episode of The Creeps uh, The Curious is confusing me more and more. So now he apparently drinks milkshakes. I, I just don't understand. <laughs> just grabbing my wake-up shot. But you've been up for hours. <sighs> oh god, social media is so fake. And it really bugs me, like, oh, just having this, uh, just waking up, woke up like this. And it's like, it takes hours to get the picture. Right, no, I was joking. <laughs> About your joking. Right. <laughs> this is awkward. So, she's obviously, one sister's obsessed with social media and looking like she's got this perfect life. The other one's actually trying to work hard. But an employer should take that phone off her. Just saying. Don't worry, the pretty one's bringing over your shape. Oh. 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 Oh my god. Sorry. If I had my phone on me in my job when I worked in retail or customer service, oh, I would have been killed. You know what this place is lacking? A big old family photo above the counter there. All my beautiful Zuko babies. Oh. Not give me the photo, Mum. Look, I'm just trying to spice the joint up a bit, bring in a warm vibe. Oh, also, I remember that Zuko's pizza has been mentioned in a few different episodes. That's cool. I'm counting on you, girls. Reputation is everything. It's sad, really. Like she feels like social media is like making her not good enough, I suppose. Floor fader. Uh -oh. Takes the best of you. Don't do it. <laughs> Come on, Mars, get in. We can get that photo for the diner. Good luck with that. Mars is a full on photo phobe. Yep. I like the fact this is taking place around like a whole family. It feels like they're a nice family, they're a happy family. But maybe one daughter gets more attention because she's. It's in the wash. Sure. Got like an online presence which helps the diner, so brings people in. The other one doesn't. Festival? Dad needs us, Kira. The diner needs us. 
You know how stressed he is. That just say from Brock. The what? No. Um, Nick. Oh, her sister's texting the guy she likes. Soul Fader. It's a free download. Plus, the photos on the website look sick. I don't know. Why does the app have that creepy music playing? Free apps, they always give you a ton of spam. Well, I can always delete it. Whoa! Uh oh. You read the terms and conditions. Nerd alert. Who ever reads those things? True that. Okay. I'm intrigued to see kind of how it affects her, her life, her looks, her personality, or something. That look weird to you. Oh. I need an app like that because my selfies are fucking awful, which is why I don't take any. <laughs> I always feel so old when I talk about social media because I just don't care for it too much. Like, I like keeping in touch with people and seeing what people are up to and stuff, but in terms of like selfies and whatnot, I just. No one wants to see my ugly mug. <laughs> New gallery board. Oh, you can spam right off. <laughs> Oh, is it maybe because the f the app's making things so clear, she's now losing the ability to see clearly? Does that make sense? Oh no, she likes Brock. Don't get mad, okay? But I'm going to buy us both festival tickets. What? Just think about it. Hey, you never know. Who so I was confront her and say I saw a message from Brock. You know I like him. The fuck? Why is the app so creepy? Like the noise, would that not really put you off? Stupid spam. One zoo closed big and loaded one. Mommy, help me! <laughs> oh, a bit harsh. Oh my god, what's happened? What's happened? Is her face like blurring over her? Like, do you know, like she's losing the face? I couldn't really tell because her eyesight was bad as well. Gallery bed. Are people buying this? Buying her face? But you also just ran out of the restaurant as well. So now you've both run out of the restaurant. <laughs> just FYI. Oh. Right, I'm gonna say be nice, don't just scream at her. I don't wanna Well my eyes were all blurry when I woke up, but blurry. But I just thought it was the camera flashes. From that new app, the one with the freaky flash. I mean, would you jump to that? That the app's doing it to you. Like making your whole face weird. I mean, we know what it is. Is that all your fader? Would you think that? I've never seen that before. New gallery bid. Look, the number's going up. Moss, you got to do something. Hey, there might be something online. Maybe I can track the location of whoever made the app. And do what? I don't know. It does feel like people like bidding on her face. So maybe the more bids she gets, the higher the bids and stuff, the more her face disappears. Okay, so their face is going to an actual gallery. Creepy. This is creepy. Oh my god, what's that? Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Very few were selected for my gallery. What have you done to me? Taken that which you hold precious and immortalized it. No, I, I didn't ask for this. Oh, but you did. Capture that perfect image. Remember. I don't like it. Get him out. Get rid of him. Kill him. Here you will never age, 
Never withered. Oh, that's some, that's some bullshit. I'm sorry. Perfect for purchase. Because you're ruining her life? Purchase. <laughs> I had a feeling like the whole, all of this was, was in the terms and conditions. Always read the small print. Ah, another interested client. You would think this would be in the news, like all these people are losing their faces. What is this? Hacking into your app? That's child's play. Okay, that's convenient, but all right. <laughs> Stop. Give me Kira. I own it. You know, I've got a nasty little virus I've been saving for a day like this. Let's do it. Messing with every bit. Oh, do I like the way he's floating? That's very cute. I have no idea how stubborn I am. How much I hate selfies. I'll make it so no one ever wants to bid on you again. Because with an exhibition like this, reputation is everything. But never again can she use your face. She's done it here. She tries that she's never yes, used your selfie ever. Ever again. Or a photo of herself, that's a bit harsh. Unless he means just not use the app. Which I think she she wouldn't do that. Do we have a deal? Read the terms and conditions. Don't just press accept. Don't just press accept. He said before, always read the terms and conditions, and you told her the same. Oh, he's done something. She's agreed to it. You don't deserve my art. Guess I'm not done mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for the twist. Because I would be very surprised if there's not one coming because she didn't read the terms and conditions. No more apps. No more filters. From now on, I'll just try and appreciate what I've got. Oh, and... Um, I'm how he got your number. What? Oh. Ross. He put a little kiss at the end as well. If you ever appear again in any photo. Oh, Kira, get in here. Oh. See, I told you to have the terms and conditions. Forever. I mean, you're never going to be able to go through your entire life. With you? Never be in a photo. Just, all. No so she's. Trust me. Screwed. <laughs> to be honest. But before you go, something to hang above the counter. Oh, yes. And like I always say, reputation is everything. Dad, don't! Say cheese. No! Bye. <laughs> Told you she should have read terms and conditions. Be careful what you do with your image, because you never really know if there's something out there waiting in the shadows, preparing to steal it away. Okay, everybody, that was episode six, No Filter. I really like that episode. I'm liking, like, the unfortunate five and No Filter. Seem to be going back towards, like, the horror side of Creeped Out that I think, like, the first four episodes didn't really touch on too much. I guess there were elements in the... Of it, the I guess there was elements of it in the many place with that, the monster. And some... There is, I mean, there have been some horror elements throughout, I suppose. It just felt like these two have been trying to give you more freaky like series one did than, than the first few episodes but i really enjoyed it. i mean i said i'd be intro at the beginning that selfies and all that all the filters and all that i don't like because you're not putting across the real you and it's like say you're on a dating app or on online or whatever and someone's filtered all their pictures when you meet them you're gonna be like that's not what you look like online you d you've not you've got wrinkles you've got spots or dark patches or your skin's not even, whatever. And there's nothing wrong with all that. That's just normal. People just need to be themselves, but they feel the need to put all these filters over. And I don't mind when you put, like, a funny filter. You know, like, when people put, like, the dog filter over the face. Whatever. That's fine. 
But when people put like the airbrushing filters or the, all the stuff that just makes them look weird and plastic and just not real, I don't like it. So I like that this episode touched on that. That was cool. And the, the dude who was like taking all the faces was freaky. And like when he was floating behind them, that was like quite a scary image that was... Just, just there's something about people that float in like horror and TV and stuff that I've seen before that, uh, that inevitably makes them kind of scarier. And I guess it had a really good message that you just to not constantly put filters over stuff and just to be yourself. I don't know what else I can really say because I knew as soon as she pressed accept without reading the terms and conditions, which she told her sister to do, the creepy dude told her sister to do, but then she didn't do it. It was obvious that there was going to be a twist in the end and it was that if she was ever in a photo ever again, he was going to steal her and his sister's face, which was, it was never going to be possible. Like, even if the dad didn't take the photo then, they go to the festival, everyone's taking photos. In their life, you're in the background of a photo or friends take photos at parties. It's just, it's impossible to really think that you're never going to have a photo taken ever again. Like, nights out, people take photos and you might be in the background or whatever. So, the twist was kind of obvious, but I liked it. And the art gallery was a really creepy image with all the faces. Kind of reminded me a little bit of Return to Oz, if anyone's ever seen that. There's a really scary moment where this lady who can change her head has this, like, corridor where it's got lots of different heads in, like, things along the sides. And that's, like, a scary image. So, yeah, I enjoyed this episode. I liked the characters. I mean, it just felt very modern and very relevant to today's youth I guess just not even youth but just today people who are on social media and influencers and people who put stuff on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and all that stuff so I liked it for that it was modern it was relevant and it was creepy so yeah let me know what you guys thought of No Filter in the comments below did you enjoy it did you find it creepy like I did and just what you're thinking of the series so far if you liked it please leave some comments and subscribe to my channel and as always guys my name is Scott I hope you're well, taking care of yourselves and staying safe, being sensible, and wearing a mask. If you like my content, please check out some of my videos to my right. And yeah, you might enjoy it, you might not, but give it a go. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all for episode 7. Bye, guys.